Research has shown that a lot of women do not orgasm by penetration. So while you're banging and all of that, which is not a bad thing, you know, all these are talents in the shape of bedroom. We love it, alright, but it is worthy of note that she might not reach her peak by just doing that. And that is the essence of this video. We're going to be looking at how you can actually satisfy a woman sexually. When it comes to a woman's sexual satisfaction, I'm speaking from a woman's perspective, a lot is tied to her emotion. To a woman, it is often not just the physical activity. In order for you to be able to bring her to her peak, you have to get true to her emotions. And what do I mean by that? You need to know her mumu body. <laughs> the access to a woman's body is through her mind. Alright, if her mind did day, my guy forget her body go did day. Have you pictured a scenario where you're having a misunderstanding or a quarrel with your wife? And in that instant, you try to hold her, you try to touch her, and immediately she removes your hand or she's like, what do you stand me? Don't touch me. Don't come close to me. It doesn't mean that she hates you so much that she doesn't want you to ever touch her again. But in that minute, in that instant, her mind is not pleased with you. As such, her body repels you. Her, like, her body does not want you to come close. So that is the way a woman is wired. Her sexual satisfaction is intertwined with her emotions. The moment you're able to click the right button, trust me, my brother, she will sing for you. So this momo button I'm talking about is nothing other than her love language. There are different love languages for different people. Everyone has got his own primary love language. So your ability to identify what her primary love language is will determine how sexually satisfied she's going to be every time you are with her. Is she the type that loves to receive gifts from you? Or she just like you to touch her all the time when you're passing, you're touching her, always romancing her when you're sitting on the couch, maybe just gisting or watching a movie, you're holding her, just you know, making that physical contact with her. Or she's the type that loves to spend quality time going on vacation, giving her your undivided attention. You need to be able to identify what her primary love language is. The moment you begin to speak a woman's primary love language, honestly, I am telling you this from experience, she would click everything will just soft <laughs> and if you're wondering what love language is all about i'm going to pin a video i made about the five love languages authored by gary chapman i'm going to pin it in the description and also in the comment section you can check out that video to study the different five love languages in order to identify which one is her primary love language so that you begin to speak a love language time not day <laughs> Now, someone will be like, why do I have to go through all of this stress just because I want that, just because I want to be with a woman? Oh, come off it. I don't have the time. Well, I am not talking about just hooking up with a woman or, you know, shagging somewhere or whatever. I'm talking about sexual relationship between a man and a woman who are married legally. Most times when you're in a committed relationship like marriage with someone, that is when you find yourself going the extra mile just to be able to please your partner. Because it's a committed relationship. This is someone you love and cherish and you're willing to do what you have to do to bring this person more happiness, more satisfaction and you know, everything. Okay, so I'm not referring to roadside shacking, okay? <laughs> if I don't want to do your mind, my brother. They go front <laughs> so fundamentally in order to be able to bring a woman to her peak you should be able to speak her language it's very very important a lot of time you hear some men say things like but i'm not a mind reader how am i supposed to know what she like if she's not going to tell me well i know you're not a mind reader and it's actually not your duty to begin to decipher what she mean or what she think or what she just feels because I believe that, I mean, she's an adult, you're not going to marry an underage, right? And she should be able to communicate her feelings and whatever she's going through effectively, right? But notwithstanding, notwithstanding, knowing the fact that every woman, every person, including you, has a primary love language, is going to spark curiosity in you and help you do more research. And help you ask the right question because i believe that there are people who genuinely do not know that she get me more button like you don't even know that uh, something has to click you know for this to happen some people are just like you no know, one-way traffic straightforward which is not a bad thing all of us will have different orientations okay that is the reason for videos like these materials like this if you're inquisitive enough, it will help you study more, learn more new things and, you know, just have a more fulfilling and rewarding relationship. As I said, once a woman's mind, which encompasses her emotions, is pleased with you, her body is going to be automatically pleased with you and be welcoming. This is aside the whole foreplay thing. You know, that one are normal, right? You have to do the foreplay thing. You have to take your time 
to romance you know do all of the play and talk just to get her to be in the mood before you know take off with the action which is normal and primary to every healthy sexual relation right but then what i'm talking about in this video is like a different aspect to it like a different angle you have to also consider the emotional aspect of it okay if she's hot by what you do to her or maybe the way you speak to her or maybe your negligence towards her if you do not tackle all of that bring it to the fore and discuss it and then you just come around and start doing all of the romance there is a problem you have to tackle with first you have to deal with that first the moment you're able to deal with that her mind is going to be free and then whatever you do subsequently go work Imagine that you're having like a quarrel with your wife, maybe for three days, you've not really spoken to each other, you said something to her that she told you she wasn't pleased with and you know, you've not apologized for that. And then after three days, you just come to her and you start doing the romance thing and everything. She's going to be rigid. Yes, this is going to be typical. She will be rigid because you know, there's like a fundamental problem you've not been able to reach, you've not been able to resolve. The moment you're able to resolve whatever you know on the line issues you have then of course her mind will melt whatever romance or foreplay you're doing at that time is going to be more effective at this point i'm not going to neglect the fact that there are so many other reasons also why a woman might not be able to reach her peak even when you do all of the romance you know try to reach her emotion press her mama button everything every every and she still will reach her peak you know there can be so many reasons for that things like you know maybe circumcision or maybe emotional trauma or maybe she was a rape victim all of this could be the reason why she's not just clicking for you right if she has had like a sexual trauma maybe whenever you touch her she just remembers like a very past terrible experience and then she just freezes that is a different thing she can go through therapy a lot of things can be done that would help her pull through from that talking about a woman who is healthy without past trauma most likely when you're able to identify her love language and speak it effectively press the move button well you'll be able to satisfy her sexually thank you so much for watching if you're coming across my feed for the very first time thank you so much my name is Wendy Zill. if you like this video i believe you like this one on the screen too where i talked about why men need sex why sex is a fundamental need for every man click on it right now and i'll see you there